So I've been getting this request from you guys to make a video on how to successfully unlock a phone's bootloader and install a custom ROM on the phone. Even though the process is entirely simple, if you don't follow the right steps, you might end up in a boot loop. So I thought, let's just make a video. The fact that I was delaying this video was because I only have one phone, which is K20 Pro. And in order to make the video, I have to do everything on this phone. So basically all the data that I have would go away. And that's why I was just getting a bit lazy in backing up the data, but here I am. So let's see how it's done. So for the starters, I am on MIUI 12.0.0. So if you are on any MIUI or any Redmi phone, this is the state that your phone will be at the moment. So a stock MIUI installed on your device and nothing else. So the first thing that you have to do is unlock your phone's bootloader. And for that, what you need to do, go to your settings and go to about phone. And once you're there, you have to tap the MIUI version until it says, no need, you are already a developer. This message. Once you have that, you have to go back and scroll all the way down to additional settings and then scroll down and then you will find a developers option. Once you find the developers option, if it is off, you have to turn it on like so and press OK. Once done, there's an option called OEM unlocking. You have to check this. It will ask you to enable and you're one step closer. Once you have the OEM unlock, you have to head to me unlock status. It's going to ask you the permission, agree on that. At the moment, it shows that the device is locked and the phone is secure. You have to tap on add account and device. It's going to say preparing and add it successfully. Me account is associated with this device. Now you have to note that your Wi-Fi should be turned off while you are doing this step and your mobile data should be on with the Wi-Fi. It's not going to work. Okay. So once you have actually done that on your phone, all you have to do is head to Chrome and type me unlock to. And once there, you have to visit this website called enmiui.com slash unlock. Once you click on download me, it's going to ask you to download a file, which is a zip file. For me, I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to just open it. So after opening, you can extract it anywhere. So I've already extracted this on my desktop here. And you have to do is click on me flash tool unlock this application say agree you have to make sure that the account that you're logging in here the me account is same as that on your mobile phone the one from which you took the permission to unlock your bootloader and you have to just log in with the same things so once you have done that it's going to check if your me account has permissions since you already applied it all you have to do is connect your phone so it's saying you to turn your phone off. And once the power is down, I have to hold the power button and the volume down button together to open the bootloader or the fast boot in this case. This fast boot mode is actually called the bootloader mode. And then once that, then I have to just connect the USB with my phone connected to my laptop. So once your phone is detected here, it's going to say phone connected and it will ask you to click on unlock and it will tell you that unlock will erase user data. Once you click on that, it's going to ask you to wait five seconds and it will give you a warning here. Now for me, I have already applied the permission and have waited for a certain amount of time. But if it is first time for you, when you click on unlock anyway, it will ask you again to click and at this point, it will ask you to wait for a certain duration of time. It will probably ask you to wait seven days after verifying the device. So once that happens, all you have to do is wait for that specific amount of time. And after that, do the same process again, as in just put your phone in the bootloader mode and then click on unlock. And as you see, the unlock successful and my phone restarted. Remember while you are doing this after your bootloader has been unlocked everything on your phone will get wiped and it's gonna boot up with empty phone so this is gonna look like pretty much the same as you first purchased your device so all you have to do is now set everything up
Okay, so it's been around five minutes and now my phone is all up. I just have to press next and just do the basic settings here. I'm just quickly going to do that. Basically, you have to enter the settings again just to make sure everything is in place. So which is why I want you to first start it up. In some of the cases, it would even work without starting the phone up. But this is a step where you can save your phone from getting into boot loop. Okay, so at this point, my phone is all booted up and there you go. I've unlocked. So all you have to do now is head to settings again about phones and tap the MIUI version multiple times and there you have it. Now you are a de developer. Go out and now you have to proceed to additional settings again and from there go to developers option. Once you are there, this is already ticked. Bootloader is already unlocked now if you see. And if you see here, it already shows unlocked. Well, you are fine now. Now we are going to install the custom recovery. All you have to do is hit the power button, boot into fast boot mode. So for doing that, volume down and power button hold together and you are here. And now you have to head back to your laptop in order to install the custom recovery. Okay, so once your phone is in fast boot mode, connect it with the data cable and connect it with your laptop and launch the Chrome. And now you have to download the recovery based off based on your device. Sorry. So there are a couple of options here one is twrp recovery which i would be downloading there is orange fox recovery and there are multiple types of recovery i like twrp because i've been already using it for the past 10 years so write in google twrp recovery k20 pro instead of k20 pro your phone's name would come and you will either land to the official TWRP recovery or to the XDA forum where you can download the image. If you are on TWRP.me, you just have to scroll down and it will give you here the download links. Click any of them. And then there are a couple of versions here. So 3.3, 3.4.1. This one I'm interested in. I'm going to click here. And once you click this, there are two things. You have to download this one. Okay, so once it's downloading, all you have to do is head to YouTube. And search my channel name. And I have to click this red button and it would help me a lot. Okay, so once that is downloaded, once the recovery is downloaded, you have to install ADB fast boot in your device. On your laptop I mean so head over to XDA forum scroll down and click any of them and download it once you download you just have to run the setup and it will install you to the particular directory most of the cases it installs in C under here you have to go to ADB this is the one so once you're here you have to go to command prompt and once you're here just write cd and copy this path here and paste it here press enter and make sure your phone is still in fast boot mode and connected with your laptop and at this point you have to write fast boot oops fast boot devices it should return a number like this and a fast boot here if you have correctly installed everything once you have that, all you have to do is go to the place where the downloaded recovery is, this, and drag it down to this folder. So now you have the folder of fastboot and the recovery here. So head back here and then type fastboot flash recovery and then copy the name of this recovery. copy and paste it here dot img you have to append you have to add dot img here and once you do that 
is press enter it's saying sending and it will say finished if you want you can look in the description and find all these commands you just have to change this with your recovery name and rest this part remains the same and also you have to change the cd part this part with whatever path your fast boot will be adb driver should be installed okay so once that is done all you have to do is hold the volume up button and power button together this time and you should end up coming in recovery you'll see you will be ending up here so now you have installed it correctly all you have to do is come here and format data type yes this is the first thing that you should do it's gonna take some time and once done it's gonna ask you to either go back or reboot don't reboot yet go back okay now that you have done that your favorite part is left which is downloading your favorite custom rom for me i'm gonna go with evolution x because i like the customization options as well as the performance of that rom but you are free to choose whatever you want evolution x rom k20 pro and head to their source forge once i'm here i'll see that this is my device name well device name is k20 pro but the bootloader's name let's say it's rafael so i know this is my build and this is the latest one i'm just gonna click on download and it's gonna shortly start okay at this point my rom is downloaded and this is the zip file you don't have to open it what you have to do is head to your my computer your phone is still in recovery and is still connected to your laptop or pc okay so once the rom is downloaded all you have to do is head back to your recovery here and tap on reboot and then click on recovery now remember that you formatted your device in the recovery and that is why you have to reboot it to recovery so as to see the storage of your phone on your computer to transfer the rom on storage so i'm gonna hit on recovery it's gonna restart automatically i don't have to press now anything it's gonna come back to recovery recovery again there you have it and once you have this you can head back to your computer here and go to this pc now you see that you have storage mentioned click here there would be one folder don't bother about that just drag and drop the rom on your phone storage it's gonna take some time to copy by the way if you're new to the channel a sub to the channel would be highly appreciated and if you can share the video i'd like that too okay so the rom is now on my phone here's if you see k20 pro internal storage rom you can head back to your device now now the rom is already there on my phone now you have to go to wipe and slide this this is important and once you do that go back go back install rom slide now if you can see it's showing evolution x patching system image unconditionally it's very important to follow the steps i've been doing it for the past eight years and i know a lot about them so i wouldn't be making any mistakes which is why each and every step that I'm telling you ensures that you will not end up in any boot loop. Make sure before you start doing all this procedure, you back everything up. I hope you're not doing simultaneously side by side. The point of the video is that you first see it once and later on do it on your device. It says updating details and it's done. So once you are at this point, you can go back, go back, wipe and format the data. This would prevent you from getting into a boot loop. And the reason why it will end up in your boot loop if you don't do this is because you installed a new software on your mobile phone and you didn't wipe the data which was present. So once you will restart, 
your bootloader will think that someone else was doing that and it will not let the operating system start. If you want to know more about that, I'll leave the link to the video in the description as well as on the iCard here. Make sure you check it out. So once you have that, press on restart. If you notice, you'll see this unlock sign here. That means that the bootloader has unlocked and there you go. This is the boot animation of Evolution X, which means we have successfully installed a custom ROM on a device without any errors. All you have to do now is to wait until the booting is done. And once it's done, it will ask you to set your device up and you're good to go. I would recommend all of the users who are using me devices to install custom ROM on their devices because first of all, the software of Redmi or Mi or Xiaomi is not trusted. Even the browser had issues where it was tracking. I've made a video on that and if you want to check it out, you can check here. So that was it for the video. Even though the process of unlocking the bootloader of a device is a bit complex for a normal person since I had the experience, I tried to make it as simple as possible so you don't end up in any errors. However, if you still end up in getting any errors, feel free to reach out to me here or in the comment section below. Whatever you feel is good. If you're new to my channel, a sub would be amazing. And if you liked the video, press the like button. Well, that was all for the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.